So I've been getting a few messages on the Dear Francis shoes that I own, so I thought I would do a review on the three pairs that I have. Hopefully this will help you make a decision on if you want to get them or if you need to figure out which size you need to get. Because I'm exactly the same. I look up every blog post, every review, every YouTube video that I can find before spending my hard earned money on anything. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, my name is Adeline and I make videos about fashion focusing on timeless and classic style. Today we are going to be going through the tie slides, chase mules and spirit boots and no this video is not sponsored I bought all three pairs with my own money but if anyone from dear Francis is watching this I love your shoes <laughs> before we get into each shoe individually there are a couple of points that cover all of them so instead of going through and repeating myself I'll just go through them now so firstly do I love all three pairs yes are they comfortable so 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 comfortable and are they worth the money Yes, they are so worth the money. They are so well made. And speaking of cost, these are not cheap shoes by any means. They range from about 300 USDs to 600 USDs. However, Dear Francis does sometimes go on sale. So for example, I bought the Chase Mules and Tie Slides on last year's Black Friday sale, where they were doing 20 or 25% off site-wide. And I recently purchased the Spirit Boots about two months ago when there was a spring sale for 20% off. So if you can wait for these sales, I would recommend that you do because you can save quite a significant chunk of money. If you don't need to wait for the sales, I'm happy for you. <laughs> All three of these styles are from the core collection and brands that have a core collection really appeal to me because it shows that they're not necessarily striving to create super trendy items, but they're creating something classic and something that will stand the test of time. And that really resonates with me and my own clothing philosophy, especially if I'm gonna be spending upwards of $300 on an item, I really want it to be something that I can wear all the time. Right, so let's get into it. We'll start with the tie slides and I have mine in the color cream. I wore mine all throughout last summer and autumn here in Sydney. Finding a comfortable summer sandal that's also really elegant is quite difficult in my opinion, but these are just that. They're so comfortable and they're also really beautiful to look at. They are made of the softest leather which mold to the shape of your foot over time and the footbed is not completely flat, it kind of dips and curves to the shape of your foot so it's a really supportive sandal that you can wear all day long and be really really comfortable in. And as comfortable as that is, I do have a small gripe with this. So I personally have really high arches in my feet and so when it's summer and it's getting really hot, your feet get a bit sweaty, there's some interesting noises that my feet and these sandals make when the air is trying to escape the gap. But the way I've gotten around this is to purchase those small gel soles that you normally put on the ball of your feet. Um, but I've just placed them in the middle where the gap is and that's kind of solved my issue. So if you have the same problem like me, there's a solution for you. I am normally an EU 37 and that is the size that I purchased in these sandals. I would say that my feet are normal, possibly veering on the side of wide. Um, so when I first got these sandals, they were a little bit tight. I did have to kind of scooch my foot in the first few wears. But after a little bit of time, the leather has softened up so beautifully and now they are the perfect fit. Like I said, I wore these all throughout summer and autumn here in Sydney and the soles still look brand new. They don't even look like they've been touched. So I'm really happy with the tough sole that they put on because it makes it a really, really good everyday sandal. I can 100% see myself wearing these for years and years to come. And if I could afford them in black too, I would totally purchase them. <laughs> Moving on to Dear Francis shoe number two, the Chase Mules. And where do I even begin with these? They are just the most perfect minimalist heel. Just looking at them gives me so much joy. <laughs> they have a square toe, but not so square that it's jarring, but enough to be quite modern yet still classic. 
The strap across the top is slightly wider on one side than the other and I just love that small detail. They elongate your legs and it's amazing how such a simple shoe can elevate any outfit. I wear mine with dresses, skirts, trousers, jeans, you name it, these shoes will just make any outfit look good. They're really comfortable to stand in. The heel is only four and a half centimeters tall, I think. So it's not a, a super high heel at all. And it's also a block heel, so that gives you that extra support. However, they're certainly not long distance walking shoes. Because of where the strap is on your foot, it's quite far forward on your toes. They kind of flip flop a lot when you're walking. I personally don't mind it, but it's just something worth thinking about if that would bother you or not. I bought mine in an EU37, which is my normal size. If you are in between sizes, I think I would recommend you sizing up because you don't want the front strap to be too narrow for your feet. If you are thinking about purchasing these shoes, I would just consider how wide your feet are because I have read some reviews of some people saying that they just couldn't wear these because their feet are too wide. I did have a little bit of rubbing on one of my toes when I first got these, but now that the leather has softened up a bit, there's no rubbing at all. You can definitely find a lot of dupes for these on the high street. I've seen H&M and, and other stories come out with really similar ones, especially because that kind of 90s minimal mid block heel has been quite popular for a while now. But this pair from Dear Francis is such high quality. And because I personally think that this is such a staple shoe to have in any wardrobe, I'm happy to make that investment into these shoes. And I really do see myself wearing these for a long time to come. Okay, so moving on to Dear Francis shoe number three. And these are the Spirit Boots. And I think these first came out in 2016, I wanna say. And I first saw these back then when all the celebrities were wearing them and I wanted them so badly, but I couldn't afford them back then. So it, I'm so happy that the younger me can see the older me now and see me afford them. <laughs> and I love that even though these came out five or six years ago now, they're still as stylish now as they were back then. You could describe this boot as a plain black boot, but honestly, they are anything but. They are a really beautiful almond toe shape with a gorgeous stitching down the front. There's a lovely golden zip that is so smooth to zip and unzip. And let's talk about the heel shape. It ever so slightly kind of subtly comes out from the back which I think looks so special. And there's also a patent leather strip that runs down the back of the heel. When I'm shopping for black boots, I'm always really conscious about where they cut me off on my leg. Because I am only five foot two, a majority of my thinking when it comes to clothes is, is this gonna make me look shorter or can I have the illusion of looking taller? And I really think that with these boots, they don't hit me at a funny place. So if you are short like me, um, I know you can relate. And yeah, these boots don't hit me at a weird place where I think I look shorter. So the heel is eight and a half centimeters tall, which is a big heel height. Um, but honestly, when I put these on, I don't feel like I'm wearing eight and a half centimeters of heel, if that makes sense. They're so comfortable. I feel really supported in them. And I think that's just a testament to how good the craftsmanship is on these shoes. Plus the block heel, which gives you a lot of support for your feet. The only negative thing that I can think of for these shoes is that the sole of these boots are made of leather. And from an aesthetic point of view, I completely understand the choice. The sole looks great. But from a more practical point of view, leather is just not the best sole to have on shoes. As I see these boots being something I wanna reach for again and again, I am gonna have a sole put on them. So it's just an extra cost that you need to think about on top of an already quite expensive boot. But just like how the search for the perfect pair of blue jeans is never ending, the search for the perfect pair of black boots is also never ending. 
but I really feel like these spirit boots tick most if not all of my boxes for black boots and so I'm really really happy with my purchase. If you have any questions or have any other brands that you want me to do a review on please let me know in the comments below. I love getting your comments, I read everything, I reply to everything so thank you again for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye!